the other thing that has come out is there are some rule changes that are under consideration. Uh, they'll be voted on next week uh, pretty quickly here with a virtual uh, owners meeting coming up um, next week. Now, one of them that's really interesting is the possibility of converting an onside kick from the onside kick traditionally to converting a fourth and 15 from your own 25. Uh, now, the success rate, based on all the changes that the onside kicks have the kickoffs have gone on, onside kick recovery rate is down to 13.2%, so a little bit over 1 in 10. Fourth and 15 was converted 16.8% of the time. Those are um, numbers from NFL's communications department. Do you like this? I know you wrote an article on this. What, what are your thoughts? What are the Browns, you know, special teams coaches and the like, thinking about potentially making an onside kick, you know, converting a fourth and 15 from your 25-yard line? You can only do it twice in a game. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, I looked this up. Mike Prefer back in February, I believe it was, when, when we met with him, actually called this out and, and said he didn't like it. I think it was the XFL that, that was trying, and I think it was an old AAF rule as well. Um, but... I don't think Mike Prefer is a real big fan of this. I'll tell you what, though. I think I am. I, I know it's a little gimmicky. I'll, I'll admit to that. But I kind of like the idea of lining up, going for one play, fourth and 15. I mean, the, the buzz in those stadiums right before those plays, when a team comes out, the things we'll talk about, uh, you know, I mean, think about how we talk about two-point plays. <laughs> you know, should they have gone for two there? Was that the right move? I, I just think all the potential that, that a fourth and 15 play with the game on the line and really giving fans the hope that your team can keep the football and maybe have a chance to score again that you don't really have with the onside kick anymore. I think there's a lot of excitement here. It's a gimmick. I think maybe on paper it's easy to look at it and say, oh, I don't like this. I hate this. But I think in practice, if we see it a few times, I think it could be really exciting. The only thing that scares me is the Browns' defense was given up fourth, <laughs> fourth and longs. And again, that's not fair because it's a completely different defensive system. But I, I see winds going out the window, and I'm going, come back. <laughs> that, that's fair. Browns fans are, are definitely scarred by uh, fourth. Now, if it were fourth and four, <laughs> Browns fans should be really worried. How many times have we seen them jump off sides or, or something like that? So, uh, But, yeah, I, I can certainly see Browns fans being a little nervous about this after the last 20 years. And, again, remember, it's from your own 25. So even if you convert, you're still only out near midfield in theory unless you bust something. But I get it, and I think – I think it, now the Eagles are the ones that have uh, proposed this, and the, the feeling is it has a pretty good chance at, at being implemented in passing, is, is what the early you know, word out of the league is. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I, I think you know, getting that, those 24 owners to actually vote yes is going to be tough, because I think there will be a lot of them that say, no, this is just too, maybe they'll have a, their special teams coordinator say to them, you know, no, this is too much. This is a bridge too far. We don't want to do this. Um, you know, we, we, we put up with the extra point getting moved back a few years ago. We don't want to go this far. But I think it's going to be interesting. It does feel like there's some momentum here to make some changes to the onside kick. And, and I'm just glad the NFL is, is trying to come up with some things because the onside kick has become, with all these new rule changes, a really boring play and, and kind of a pointless exercise. Yeah, I mean, and again, the, the, the reason for the changes in the kickoff is obviously safety, and the onside kick is probably the, the biggest, you know, thing of that because you don't want six guys running at one guy trying to knock him 20 <laughs> yards back. Right, right, and there probably is a player safety element to this, too. It, it's safer to line up for a 4th and 15. I, I mean, Browns fans, again, will remember Kellen Winslow breaking his leg. Uh, obviously, that was with different onside kick rules, but... You know, late in a game, he breaks his leg, his season is over. The onside kick is a, is a pretty dangerous play because it just creates a scrum for the football. So I would imagine there's a player safety element to this, too.